so here we are doing a, a nasal reconstruction. She has a, a large defect from a, a skin cancer and had Mohs excision of it. Um, the reason we're doing a forehead flap for her is you can see that it comes all the way to her uh, nasal ala and this is very very thin and, and floppy here so if we don't do something that really brings in good tissue here we won't be able to re create this nice thick contour here. Also as scar tissue builds uh, she'll be at risk for that uh, nasal uh, ala to really notch so we're going to rebuild this. You're going to see we're going to put some cartilage grafts here to support this and keep this down and then we'll create a nice forehead flap to recontour this whole section. You can see here where I've marked out her nose because uh, it's hard to recreate something that's really nice with these weird edges so we'll make some nice sharp lines so it just blends right at the, the nasal subunits here. So now we're in the back of the ear here and I'll show you a little bit the defect that we cleaned out and so forth but now we're going to take some of this cartilage graft and so what we'll do is just like we do for a facelift we'll hide our incision in the back of the ear here and then we'll free up all this cartilage and so the portion is that you're taking the cartilage from the base of the ear here so they won't see any difference in the shape of their ear and the incision will be well hidden uh, behind the ear so give this to Faye and then we'll just do So here you can see we've made our incision in the back of the ear and we've exposed our, our cartilage. It's a little longer than our defect, but this you'll see that we do that so we can tuck it in and then we actually can just peel this cartilage off the skin. So this is the anterior skin here. Our posterior skin is folded up. And so just kind of nicely, just slowly peeling all this stuff off. We almost have more cartilage than we need because the ear's not going to miss it. And it gives us plenty of room to play on the front side so we can shape the nose however we need. And so we'll just free up plenty here and then we'll close all that up. So here you can see we've taken out our cartilage. You can see how this is gonna make a great ALR rim here and really support our nose. So uh, uh, we'll put this on the back table. We'll get all this closed and then we'll come back to our nose. So now we've taken our cartilage. You can see we've closed the ear here. That incision is going to be hard to be seen from a, a frontal view uh, and looks good. It's just uh, as a normal shape to her ear. We've just put some sutures through and through the ear to uh, uh, get rid of any of the space where we had taken that cartilage, but she'll do well with that. So now we're back to, to our nose here and basically we've created some little tunnels here and then one coming up this side. And this is how we're going to anchor our cartilage graft. You don't naturally have cartilage here, but you can always feel that this is a little bit firmer. So what we're going to do is we'll take our cartilage graft that James has nicely for us here, and then we're going to stick it in each of these little pockets that we've made on each side. And you'll see that it'll just sit in there nicely. And you can see here, once we suture this up, it's going to give her a nice shape and then make something similar to both sides and add some of that firmness that she has on both sides. So we'll we'll do that and this will keep the this thin skin here from wanting to just shrink up. And so this is going to hold her out, give her that nice round shape, open up the nose so that she can breathe well and, and then we'll start with our forehead flap. All right, so here we've uh, put our cartilage graph. You can see where we've sewn it in place and see how now it's really given us a little bit of skin to sew to there. It's given her a nice shape, very similar to the other side. Then we've made our fancy little template here of uh, how our skin's going to be. And then we'll actually rotate this all the way back up to her forehead. We found our little artery here and so we'll take out this skin, close all this down and then uh, we'll come back and you'll see how we shape and inset it this into the uh, into the nose. So now we've um, We've been able to lift our flap. You can see here, this is some of the front house muscle. Here's the periosteum. And so um, it's amazing how this little blood vessel here can come all the way down and supply this entire uh, flap. And so we'll rotate it and you see how it fits nicely into position. Even with this thin forehead skin, it's still a little thick. So we'll come back, we'll thin all this, inset it like that. And, and now we're gonna close all of this pretty easily. So here we are, and you can see our, our forehead flap here has a good color to it. Um, we've already done some thinning of this. You can see here where she has the thicker frontalis muscle. Here we've thinned this about as much as we can so that it'll have a nice smooth even shape like the rest of the, uh, of the nose. We've made some right angles here so we can really inset this and, and it'll sit nicely with a nice contour. I've closed the donor site here uh, so that'll heal a nice fine line. And so now we're just going to do some fine trimming and start insetting it like this. 
So now you can see that we finished our uh, incident, our flap. We've got our all cleaned up. We just have a little gauze here on the raw side here just so she doesn't bleed. But you can see how nicely we've inset her uh, ALR rim here. So that's going to be a nice thickness for her when we're all set. And then we'll come back in a couple of weeks and divide this and inset everything. So here we are uh, three weeks after our forehead flap. So we had done this for uh, to reconstruct the nose from a nasal skin cancer. So she had lost this whole portion of her nose. We had taken some ear cartilage as you can see in part one. Here's some uh, remaining sutures where we closed the back of her ear. And so we've redone the entire nasal seal here. So now we're going to take off this unwanted portion, fold this uh, uh, remaining skin back, and then you'll, we'll come back and you'll see how we'll contour and thin this so that it looks just a nice even uh, uh, of course like the opposite side. So now you can see where we've uh, just divided our flap. We've done that so we can have two pieces to, to work with. Now this says blood supply from the nose. Uh, this you know we no longer need so now it's about getting the eyebrow back into its proper position from the other side so we'll just replace the triangle that we took and then actually do a little kind of W plasty to, to get all this to settle out nice. We'll just excise this and then tailor tack it here. So now you can see here that we've uh, inset our forehead flap from our donor side here. And this is, by doing this kind of little uh, W plasty, we're able to get the, the eyebrow back into its proper position. The eyelid's looking good. And it's going to blend the, uh, the scar into our natural kind of furrow li lines here, which will which will hide well. So now what we're going to do is actually finish our contour in here. So you'll see that we'll free up some of this. Just getting our blood supply from down here, so we've got to be careful about how much we free. We've thinned out the most distal, now we're going to thin out this, this most kind of cranial portion. And you can see this is the muscle that we're going to take off and just basically taking everything off except to the point of the actual fat. So we'll just kind of meticulously go down here and then free up our edge underneath where we're going to inset it. So now we've finished uh, the second stage of our forehead flap. You can see how we've recreated her whole nasal ala here. You know, the color is going to change a little bit here and match her nose as she gets a little bit of sun. But, you know, she's got a really good shape. This is going to be very durable and uh, looks really, really good for her in terms of her overall shape of her nose. So uh, I think that'll be great.